So filers need to first register in order to use TurboCourt, and registration is very fast and easy. Only a name and email address are required. And to register, the filer will simply click the register link, and this brings up the registration process. There are two kinds of TurboCourt notifications. One is an internal notification that is always on. This means the filer can log into TurboCourt anytime from anywhere and check to see what notifications they've received regarding any of their electronic filing. The other type of notification is email notification and this is optional. So this next area is where the user indicates what default setting they want to choose with regards to email notification. And there are three choices. The first choice is to receive email notification but with only a link to TurboCourt with no details about the filing in the email itself. Now the second choice for email notification is to receive that email notification with a link to TurboCourt just as in the previous choice but to include details about their filing. Third choice is to indicate that they don't want to receive emails at all in which case they'll just log in regularly to TurboCourt to check on the status of their filing. And as you can see with this important note just below here, even if the filer does choose to receive email notification, we explain that because email delivery can never be guaranteed, they must still log into TurboCourt regularly to check the status of their filing. The next selection is for the filer to indicate which type of user they want to register as, and there are currently five choices. If they cl click on the link, which user type should I select, the window comes up and describes each of the user types that they can read and then use that to help them make the proper choice. So if they were to select individual, for example, and then click next, it will take them to step two in the registration process. Uh, here they need to provide a username and password based on the characteristics that you see here. They also will need to select a security question and provide a corresponding answer to that question. And this they can use to automatically recover their password or username if they forget it. Uh, that again is very helpful in saving staff time not having to deal with those sorts of support calls. And once that is set up, they would then click on the link for the user agreement, read through the user agreement. and check the checkbox that they agree to the terms and conditions, click register, and now once they're registered with TurboCourt, they can use it anywhere TurboCourt is available.